G'day guys, my name is Jerome from JustClickRecord.com. Welcome to this tutorial about how to record acoustic guitar in GarageBand. Let's get started. There's two ways you can do it, basically through your guitar output, um, or you can also record into a microphone. In this tutorial we'll cover off both of those and how to try and get the best result. Here's go. For this we'll need another empty GarageBand project, so we'll open that up. Now again, my little input device is an Mbox uh, Mini 2, so I'll put this guitar into input number 2. Okay, now we just need to open a new guitar track within this project and see how it goes. So, guitar track, input two of Mbox Mini 2, perfect. And I don't want to hear my instrument, otherwise I'll probably get some sort of feedback. Okay, we'll just check the electric guitar. That should do it. Let's see if we got sound. Alright, let's record something. So obviously that's working and it sounds okay, but you miss a lot of those treble sort of um, sounds when you go through your pickup. So I like to just add a microphone sitting in front of the guitar to sort of pick up some of that more medley sound and some of the higher notes. So to do that we need to enable multi-track recording and also get that microphone plugged in. So let's do that. Now you can get fancy guitar mics, but I've got nothing like that, so I just use my normal mic. Again, plugged into my inbox two. So now we've got one guitar and one microphone. And they'll both be set up as guitar inputs. So from here we stop that. Add a new track. It's gonna be another guitar track, but we're gonna go from input one this time. Make sure it's still the inbox mini. Yep. Create that. And again we'll make sure it's a classical. Another one of these. Just see if we got input. Okay, so now we've got our two inputs into the inbox and it looks like it's working. Just tap that mic. Yep, it's definitely working. So now I just need to enable multi track recording. So we'll get this up. Info. Recording sound. So show record enable, that gives us this little record button on each one. So now using this for each track that we've pressed that button on, that's going to record those two tracks. So if I record both of those, get rid of the old data. Now if I do a little test. They both look like ready to go, so let's try it. I didn't record enable. So let's have that one ready. So now both tracks are record enabled. I've clicked on the red button of both. They're ready to go. So next time I press it, they will both record.
So they're both recorded, let's go and have a listen. There you go. I like to include both those tracks because you get the depth when it goes through the pickup and then you get some of those other um, yeah, more treble sounds with the microphone. So that's how you can record your acoustic guitar with GarageBand. I hope that was helpful. Bye.